What are vectors and scalars? A scalar quantity is a physical quantity which has size but no direction. Here are some examples of scalar quantities. Let's just use two to understand what a scalar is. Time and mass. You can't speak about going sideways in time or backwards in time. In a way, there's only one direction with time, and that's forwards, so we can say there's no direction. The same with mass. There's no direction to mass at all. If you say, my mass is 50 kilograms, it's not 50 kilograms to the right or to the left or upwards or even downwards. There is no direction to mass. Scalar quantities only have magnitude, no direction. So when we describe them, we give a number to represent their magnitude, how big they are. For example, five seconds is five units of a second each. And then usually we also have to give a unit, for example, five seconds. In contrast, a vector quantity has both size and direction. Here are some examples. Let's use the last two to help us to understand this. Force and weight. If you push something or pull something with a force of two newtons, the way in which that object accelerates doesn't only depend on how hard you push it, with two newtons for example, but also in which direction you push it, whether you push it upwards, downwards, to the right, to the left or some other way. So the direction of the force is also important. Force is a vector quantity. The same with weight. Weight always has a direction towards the center of the astronomical body, for example, Earth. So maybe your weight is 500 newtons, and that is 500 newtons downwards. It has a direction. Actually, weight is a kind of force. So when you describe a vector quantity, it isn't enough to give a magnitude, for example, to... It still isn't enough to give a magnitude and a unit, for example, two meters. You have to also give a direction, for example, two meters towards the east. Or if we're dealing with force, for example, 550 newtons downward. One always has to describe a vector quantity with both a magnitude and a direction. Here are some questions to test whether you've understood what you've learnt in this lesson. Pause the movie while you answer these questions. When you've finished, press play again and then you can see the answers.